back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm Mariana from Crafting Happiness and I post step-by-step -step crochet tutorials that teach you new patterns and techniques the easy way. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the V-stitch ripple. Please comment below what stitch would you like to learn and I'll be happy to make a tutorial about it. But for now, let's start on this one. I have made two samples for you. One is in one single color, so you can see the overall texture and how it looks like from both sides. And then one that I've used in, with two colors, so you can see uh, the pattern effect it has when you do so. The V-stitch ripple pattern requires you to uh, make multiples of 14 chains plus 5. My starting chain has 47. So let's start with the first row and we will be making a double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook so from the end come backwards one two three four and five into that fifth one we are going to make a double crochet and uh, we are going to start our repeat section from this point on uh, by skipping two and make a v-stitch into the uh, third one so to make a v-stitch make a double crochet then chain one and then a double crochet into the same space and this is how you make a v-stitch now skip two and into the third one we are going to make two v-stitches separated by a chain so let's make our first v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet then a chain to separate them and another v-stitch into the same space double crochet chain one double crochet and this is the top of our ripple now going downwards skip two make a v-stitch into the next double crochet chain one double crochet then skip two and into the next we are going to start a double crochet two together that uh, is separated by a chain so it's going to look like an inverted v-stitch so skip two into the third make an incomplete double crochet so start your double crochet as usual but do not finish it leave it on your hook then we skip one and into the next one we make another incomplete double crochet like so and now we're gonna join them by yarning over and pull through all loops and it looks like an inverted v-stitch double crochet two together and this is the repeat section from this point where we start skipping stitches all the way to uh, the upside down v-stitch now uh, you repeat this all the way to the end of the row let's do it again skip two into the third make a v-stitch skip two into the third we make two v-stitches separated with a chain so this is our first v-stitch chain to separate them and another v-stitch There we go. Now skip to another v-stitch. Skip two and we make uh, two double crochet together. So an incomplete skip two incomplete double crochet next then skip one an incomplete double crochet next and then we join them and this is your repeat so like i said repeat this section until the end of the row we stitch we skip two we stitch skip two the top of the ripple 
through these stitches separated by one chain skip to another stitch skip to and double crochet two together separated by chain so incomplete double crochet skip one incomplete double crochet and then we join them at the top and this is how your very first row looks like you can see how it curves and now we're going to continue with the second round chain two and turn and this chain two counts as an incomplete double crochet what we're going to do is basically double crochet two together again uh, this is your first incomplete double crochet the chain two and then we are going to make another incomplete double crochet inside the very first v stitch so let's do that that's your incomplete double crochet and now we are going to crochet them together and this is your inverted v uh, kind of brings the pattern together now next we are going to make um, a v stitch into the next v stitch uh, from this point on we are only working inside the v stitches or in between them we are now working in these stitches so v stitch into the uh, next v stitch double crochet chain one double crochet now remember we have made a chain at the top of the ripple we have made a chain to separate the two v stitches in there we are making the next ripple top so two v stitches separated by one chain in that chain one space between the v stitches so double crochet chain one double crochet then chain one to separate the next v stitch and into the same space double crochet chain one and double crochet now into the next we are making a v stitch inside the next the v stitch below so double crochet chain one and then double crochet and now we're going towards the dip of the v and as you can see here we have the inverted v with two um, uh, v stitches on the side uh, we need to make another double crochet two together and we will anchor them inside these two v uh, stitches we are gonna completely ignore this um, double crochet two together so to make the next double crochet two together we are gonna anchor the incomplete double crochet uh, to each other like so let me show you what i mean uh, let's make an incomplete double crochet into the next v stitch so we're going to leave it on our hook then we completely ignore this uh, double crochet two together and we go to the next v stitch and make another incomplete double crochet and now we are going to connect them together by yarning over pulling through two and what this does is uh, brings the ripple together and creates this uh, ripple effect and basically that is your repeat section um, let's start again uh, i'll show you another repeat so like i said v stitch then uh, another um, uh, v stitch chain one v stitch at the top of the ripple then another v stitch and then the double crochet two together this is your repeat section so again let me show you one more repeat into the next v stitch which is part of the top ripple these two v stitches into the first v stitch we are making a v stitch 
So that's double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then in between the two V stitches in that chain one, we are going to make uh, our next two V stitches separated by a chain. So in that space, make a V stitch, chain one, and another V stitch. We separate it by chain and create the next V stitch into the same space. So that's the easiest way to explain this pattern. So you will know how to uh, continue it and make it as big as you like. Now, part of the repeat section is uh, to make another V stitch into this V stitch below. So let's do that. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we are at the dip of the ripple and we need the double crochet two together. And we are going to anchor it into these two V stitches. So incomplete double crochet, skip this into the next V stitch, incomplete double crochet. And then connect them. And that's your new double crochet two together which brings the bottom of the ripple together and that's your repeat and I have one more repeat if you would like to see before I will tell you uh, what um, what the repeat rows are and again um, into the next v-stitch we make a v-stitch okay that's v-stitch now this here, this chain one, is the chain that separates these two V-stitches. So in that chain one space, we are going to make a V-stitch. A chain one, and then another V-stitch. Just to cre create the top of the ripple. Like so. And then V stitch in a V stitch below. And to end the row, uh, we need a double crochet two together. One is anchored in the uh, V stitch, but because we don't have another V stitch on the other side, we will anchor it into the chain three at the beginning. So incomplete double crochet and then into the three chain, the top chain there, another incomplete double crochet. And connect them. So this is how you make the end double crochet two together. And this is how your second row looks like. And from this point on, this pattern, it's quite simple. All you have to do is repeat this second row over and over until you have the required length. And this is how you crochet the V-stitch ripple. I hope my tutorial was easy to follow. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And also comment below what other stitch would you like to learn and I would love to make a tutorial about it and show you how to make it. Happy crocheting!